Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Saturday Showdown. We are just over one week away from episode 20. And we have got some hot action for you here tonight. But before we get into any of that, if you are new here, then please could you go down and hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all the action here at NFHW. So now it is time for our opening contest and we're going to join it already in progress. So let us head on down to ringside as Big Daddy is taking on Hulk Hogan. Hogan in control, driving that knee into the leg of Big Daddy. Now just pummeling away. Complete control of this match, dropping that leg over the arm of Big Daddy. I've learned not to just say Daddy, because that just sounds weird. But Big Daddy fighting back, gets Hogan up in that bear hug. Can he get a submission here? Hogan fighting his way out with those big elbows. Oh, and ringing Big Daddy's bell there. But gets caught with that uppercut. Big Daddy fighting back, German suplex. Big Daddy keeps hold, spins through, turns the holster inside out with that clothesline. Big Daddy now bringing Hogan up, spinning round, big power bomb into the cover. Oh, just a two count. Big Daddy looking frustrated. Somehow Hogan managing to kick out of that one. Big Daddy going up to that top row, but a big splash from the top. That is going to break some of Hogan's ribs, but Hogan back up, hitting that knee, knee attack. Now just dropping the elbow on the outside. Oh, just raking the eyes with his boot. What a cheap move there by the holster. It's Hogan sending Big Daddy back into the ring. Hogan wasting a lot of time on the outside. Hogan back into the ring. We're kicking up Big Daddy here. Oh, body slam. Plants Big Daddy off the ropes. We're going to see a leg drop. Oh, Big Daddy moves out the way of that leg drop and hits a beautiful drop kick. Big Daddy plants Hulk Hogan face first into the canvas. There's the cover. And that is it. Big Daddy, Big Daddy defeating Hulk Hogan here in Hogan's wall. Wait, Big Daddy, Big Daddy going back and just stomping on the Hulkster. You've got to wonder what that's for, but then again, maybe you don't have to wonder. Hulk Hogan in trouble, and those ribs have got to be in a lot of pain from that splash from the top rope. The question is, will we ever see Hulk Hogan again after that devastating defeat at the hands of Big Daddy? But now we've got more action for you as we had a tag team match scheduled here. But let me take you back to what happened at the beginning of this match. You can see that Yuli Minto and Edith were scheduled to face Ashwa and Auska here. Ashwang and Auska. But after a tag, Yuli Minto just walking off, leaving Edith in the ring. And these two, Edith and Yuli Minto, are scheduled to be going one on one for the Rising Phoenix title in a Hell in a Cell match next week at episode 20. The Cabbage is green. And you've got to wonder what condition Edith is going to be in after being left alone to fend against two other women in this match. But Edith, competent professional here. She's not going to run away from the challenge. Figure four leg lock on Oscar. Oh, there's that bridge. Just putting that extra pressure on the legs. Edith going up to the top rope. Big elbow connects. 
The problem is, though, Edith has got a... She's got no one to tag now. Ash Wang and Oscar have each other to tag, and they also have each other to keep an eye on any pinfall or submission that's going on. But Oscar to the outside. Edith turning her attention to Ash Wang. Gives Ash Wang a big club, and Guillotine takes Ash Wang down. Edith back in the ring. Using this time to catch a breath. As Oscar back in. Oh, just takes Edith down. Big tackle. Oh, but Edith hits that jawbreaker. Big chop. And just driving Oscar's face into the canvas. Cover. Just a two count. Oh, but a, what a drop kick there by Oscar. Catching Edith. Now just stamping in the solar plexus. And there's that tag. This is why Ashwang and Oscar have such an advantage here. They can make these tags. Edith all alone. No one over in that red corner to help her out. And Edith slowly getting up. Ashwang gets Edith up. Big knee to the face. Edith is down. Surely that is going to be it. And there we go. Edith did her best, but being left alone against two competitors of the caliber of Ashwan and Oscar, it was it was a monumental task that she could not overcome. But like I said, she will be facing Yuri Minto just over a week's time at episode 20. But now we have got the tag team titles on the line as the reigning champions, the big boss man and Akeem are defending the titles against the Brothers of Destruction, Kane and The Undertaker. And that is a big, tall order. Oh, big clothesline. And whoever wins this match will be defending the tag team titles at episode 20 in a four-way tornado tag team title match. So I'm not sure if you're going to want to win this one too much. But Kane going to work on the boss man. Boss man fighting up, getting the shots into the midsection. Breaking the hold. Sends Kane off the ropes. Catches with a big bear hug, but Kane quickly escapes. Kane now bringing the boss man into their red corner. Tag to the Undertaker. Old double team here, sending boss man off the ropes. Big back body drop. And those two men are close to seven foot each. Boss man was way up high. Oh, the Undertaker! Did you see that manoeuvre there? Over the top rope, hitting Akeem. And a big line takes the boss man down. And the big boss man is the legal man, but the Undertaker just demolishing. Demolishing Akeem with that last ride on the outside. Referee up to a six count. They can't win the titles with a count out. It has to be in the center of the ring. An eight. Undertaker sending the boss man in. But not going in himself. There we go. But making it before that ten count. And the boss man in trouble. Tag now to Kane. But a tag to Akeem. Undertaker wasted a bit of time there. But the big DDT by Kane. Catching Akeem. Oh, looking for that choke slam. Akeem goes up and comes down. There is the pin. Have we got new tag team champions? Oh, the boss man making sure that we didn't. Breaking up that pinfall. Undertaker not happy about it. 
Kane up to that second row. Big elbow on the back of the head of Hakim. Both men, Kane bringing Hakim into their corner. Oh, Hakim desperately trying to fight out. That is not where you want to be in the opposing team's corner. Picks up, a, picks up Kane, face first into the corner. Tag now to the boss man. Oh, boss man wasting time. And you can't do that when you're in the ring with someone like Kane. Boss man fighting out though. Big elbows to that midsection. Sending Kane off the ropes. Big boss man slam into the pin. And it is over. Still NFHW Tag Team Champions, the team of the Big Boss Man and Akeem. The Big Boss Man and Akeem retaining the titles here tonight, which means they will be defending them at episode 20 in that four-man tornado tag team title match. And what a matchup that is going to be. But we have still got three more great matches for you here tonight. So we're going to head down to ringside and join a match already in progress as the British Bulldog is taking on Cactus Jack. And you can see on the outside, Joe Lando is down there in the Bulldog's corner. Bulldog in control at the moment of Cactus Jack. Oh, double hook takes Cactus Jack over. And these two have been having their issues over the past couple of weeks. And next week at episode 20, they will be in action in a Fool's Count Anywhere match. And you've got to believe that is going to favour Cactus Jack. That style of matchup. But that is next Sunday. This is today. As the Bulldog taking Cactus Jack down, drops that leg. And just stamping on Cactus Jack. Oh, just rubbing his face into the floor. Referee up to a five count. Up to a seven. Bulldog sending Cactus back into the ring. And the Bulldog back in. And you've got to wonder why Joe Lando is at ringside. Supporting the Bulldog here. British Bulldog gets Cactus Jack up. Big power slam. Could that be it? Oh, so close. Just millimetres away from that three count. But Cactus Jack somehow kicking out. And not only kicking out, but back on the offensive. Bulldog blocking that attack though. Sends Jack off the ropes. Big knee to the midsection. Takes Cactus Jack over. Now just stomping away. Single leg takedown, but Cactus Jack manages to get some distance back up. Big jumping clothesline. Takes the Bulldog off his feet. I think that caught the Bulldog by surprise as Cactus Jack fighting up. Oh, big punch there. And a big forearm shot to the back of the Bulldog. Whips him off the ropes. Big back body drop. Too close to the ropes. The British Bulldog's legs were underneath that bottom rope. But Cactus Jack staying on top of him. Double underhook DDT. Is that again too close to the ropes? I'm, I'm not sure our referee was in the perfect position there to see that I don't think the Bulldog's legs were under the rope in that instance. As Cactus Jack just comes running into the corner with that knee strike. And once again, measuring the Bulldog. Going for that DDT and he hits it again. The Bulldog has taken two massive DDTs. And that was enough to pick up the win. Cactus Jack. Cactus Jack picking up the victory here over the British Bulldog. 
but how will things pan out at episode 20 when they have a Fool's Count Anywhere match? And that's got to play into the hands of Cactus Jack. But now we have got another match for you, which is already in progress. So let us go down to ringside. Now, unlike earlier, this match was actually scheduled to be a handicap match. And it was requested by Fentos, who wanted to take on both the Earl of Excellence and the Duke of Danger. I don't know what the issue is between these two, but the Earl of Excellence, Robert Rochester Road and Fentos have had their issues over the past few weeks. Oh, just a two count. And Fentos wanting to show here that he can beat Robert Rochester Rose when he's got a tag partner. In every encounter they've had so far, Fentos has been successful. But of course, in a handicap match, there is no one for Fentos to tag. His tag partner, Dow Jones, is nowhere to be seen. And there's a tag to the Duke of Danger. Just look at the size difference here. Duke of Danger going for the cover. He is very deceptive. He is such an agile man. But giving up so much size to Fentos. And Fentos misses the boot. I think it just went over the head of the Duke of Danger. The Duke of Danger jumping up, catching Fentos. Close to a three count, Fentos rolling to the outside. Oh, Duke of Danger over the top row, but misses. That is going to break the back of the Duke of Danger. And Fentos is stamping away there on his face. Duke of Danger, as his name implies, not scared to take those risks. Oh, what a clothesline by Fentos. Taking the head off the Duke. Duke of Danger sent back into the ring. As they lock up, Duke of Danger catches Fentos off the ropes. Oh, goes for that body slam, but Fentos slips down behind. Big forearm shot to the back and another one. Driving the Duke's face into his knee. Fentos taking off that top turnbuckle, exposing that metal ring. But the Duke of Danger trying to get the tag. Fentos cutting him off, not letting him get the tag. And that's what Fentos needs to do. He needs to keep one man in the ring here. He can't keep letting them make the tags, getting the fresh man in. Oh, and there's a big knee strike. Cover. Earl of Excellence in. Earl of Excellence just, just watching Fentos pin the Duke of Danger. I'm not sure why the Earl of Excellence just let that pin happen. Maybe he thought the Duke was going to kick out, but either way, what an impressive win here by Fentos. Winning that handicap match against the Earl of Excellence and the Duke of Danger. But now it is time for our main event as the Ascension Champion is taking on the NFHW Champion. And we all know what happened last week. Kieran Donnelly attacking, attacking Doug Williams after his matchup. And these two are not happy. They are not the best of friends. And in just over one week's time, episode 20, since we got that Hell in a Cell already set up, Kieran Donnelly will be defending his Ascension title against Doug Williams in that Hell in a Cell match. But Donnelly in control here. But Doug Williams fighting back, gets Donnelly up onto his shoulders. Just drops him over that top row, goes for the cover. One count, Kieran Donnelly kicking out with authority there. Williams sending Donnelly into the corner. 
Williams taking his time, doesn't want to risk making a mistake, but gives Donnelly time to recover. Donnelly coming back with those forearms. Ducks underneath, and there's that Pele kick. Catching Williams. Oh, lovely duck underneath. Williams getting those strikes to the leg of Donnelly. Off the ropes, underneath. Over the top. Oh, lovely drop toe hold. And Kieran Donnelly's face catching that bottom rope as he came down. Donnelly fighting out of the corner. Springboard. Springboard DDT. Beautiful manoeuvre by Donnelly. And Kieran Donnelly. What a oh, wrench in that leg. Trying to get the NFHW champion to tap out here. That is not an easy feat. Oh, but speaking of tapping out, he's got it locked in in the centre of the ring. Doug Williams in trouble. Kieran relinquishing the hold. Questionable move there. But Doug Williams rolling to the outside. And Donnelly now. Donnelly taking... Oh, Donnelly spiking himself on that hard wooden floor. Throwing all caution to the wind. And it did not pay off. And Doug Williams capitalising on that mistake. Oh, Samoan drop. Doug Williams is measuring Donnelly now. German suplex and Donnelly just crashing into the ring as well. And Doug Williams in full control. Referee up to a six count. Of course, there are no titles on the line here. Here tonight. But both men back in the ring. And Williams now just focusing his assault on that leg. Doug Williams going up to that top rope. Oh, and there's that big knee from the top. Choosing not to cover, though. Donnelly fighting. Oh, both men now just exchanging blows in the centre of the ring. And the crowd is loving it. Who is going to come out on top here? Oh, big chop. Donnelly. Williams. Oh, Donnelly blocking that. But Doug Williams blocking that one. Duck on the knees. A beautiful kick. Kieran Donnelly. What an impressive manoeuvre. Catching Doug Williams. Pump handle. Gets Williams up. Oh, right into that gut buster. And both men to the outside once again. Back breaker. And a oh, that is going to hurt Donnelly as well. But not as much as it's going to hurt Doug Williams. Referee with that count going. Trying to implore with both men to get back in the ring. Sending Williams back in. Donnelly in. Drop kick to the side of the head. And there's a pin. Look at Donnelly just driving his forearm into the side of the face of Doug Williams. And a big knee lift. And Donnelly now going for that submission. He's got it cinched in. Can Doug Williams find a way out? Doug Williams is tapping. Kieran Donnelly making the NFHW champion tap out. But that is going to be it for tonight. Make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all the action here at NFHW.